typically to install a single Titan Tracks tennis court, we'll establish the perimeter of the court. We have a perimeter a sealant that goes around the whole system to ensure that you don't get water infiltration underneath the court. So we'll come in off the fence line and until we have good asphalt or concrete to bond to, we'll snap a line which will establish the first roll. From there, we'll subsequently shingle the rolls uh, based off of a five inch overlap, which allows us to go from the high side of the court to the low side of the court in case we get any moisture or rain. Once that happens, we'll adhere the one side of the court, the opposite the side we're gonna stretch from. After that side is adhered, we go to the other side of the court and we stretch one direction from the side that's adhered, typically with either a come along or cables. After all the panels are stretched, uh, my preferred method to cut the seams is with a walk behind concrete saw. It's the most efficient because you wanna gap the seam uh, in, in a very minimal amount uh, so that everything lays flat. Once those seams are all cut, we clean the dust off the seams and we apply a peel and stick waterproofing tape. And from there, you don't have to worry about any weather. We put a feather coat of sand and acrylic resurfacer on top of the peel and stick tape to bevel the profile of the peel and stick tape. And then after that, we apply it with a wider fiberglass that's applied with a special glue made up of a polymer and pure acrylic resurfacer to adhere the fiberglass to the system. We apply our poly seal product that's mixed with water over the entire system. And the primer's primary focus is not for adhesion of the acrylics, but it's to increase the yield for your first coat of resurfacer. We'll feather the seams with acrylic resurfacer and sand and water.